Meghan Markle here. Today is May 18th, 2023. It is 2.15 a.m. It took me a while to gather some of the information, the tweets that I want to share with you because yesterday after I did this video that you see on the screen right here, uh, I just could not. There's a feeling I was having I just can't approve properly and I had a lot of things to work on because the following day I had to give the computer to my husband and usually around that time like right now I like to take that opportunity to do my work because it's quiet if I need to record something I don't have to hear either noise in my house or outside noises because I live in an apartment but I could not function what I did I went to bed okay and then during the day I went on my channel just to check see how it's going if I need to respond to some comments or give some like just to interact with you to let you know that uh, I see your message or whatever it may be okay and then someone would on the comment section that uh, they praying for Megan this and that and my mind I'm like what's going on because I didn't know anything about the chase and then later on um, I popped up uh, where did I go after I saw that message could have been Twitter that would be my main source of uh, to see what's going on and then after that uh, I forced myself to actually continue the work that I was doing something that should have given me at least I'll say maybe three hours to finish it took me the entire day once I'm finished work with my son a little bit took a shower and then went to sleep take a you know rest so I could come and start recording so here we are and uh, while I was uh, going through my phone before I fall asleep um, I like and bookmark a couple tweets and then I come here to put them on a list so I could easily access it while I'm recording so this is where we are let's go on Twitter and some of the things that I've shared with you uh, I haven't really there's some videos I have not looked at, but I read some of the comments. Okay, so I decided to start with this because this is where somewhat I left off from yesterday. Okay, everybody, the squad were happy. We we're happy for Harry and Megan. We were happy to see Miss Doria and all of that. Okay, so let's read. Head to toe, gold, but not tacky. The royal family could never. All right. So as I read this, this is the thing. They do not want to see Heavy and Megan happy. God, they all are baggage for you. Whoever is trying to take their happiness away. And she didn't need to be decked with gaudy earrings, oversized bubbles, and blanks around her neck or in her hair. Gorgeous, gold la lamed, not an overdone, tasseled Christmas tree. <laughs> Oh, I know what she's making uh, reference to. Okay, she looks elegant. He tried. <laughs> he tried. That's the goal here. Oh, my goodness. Megan, gold dress. Wow. Okay, that cult. Gold carriage. <laughs> okay, there's this. I am saying she's a gold digger, but there's the music. Uh, why? I'm confused by Hertz stop, but for sure, this is how to do gold. What? Oh, the Hertz, because... Uh, what is it this could be where um usually those uh big building in manhattan the main the lower level usually have garages i mean i'm sure the uk has that okay have garages and sometimes those uh how do they call those business uh where you rent cars okay 
where you rent, I think Hertz, I never rent a car. So Hertz is probably one of those. So they go through that. Okay. They were um, at the main level um, to get to the elevator, to go to the main area where the event was taking place. Kate could never pull this color off with her skin tone. She's totally washed out. Great color choice for Megan. Okay, give it time. They will try and send out what her name is and similar exact looks. Okay, in other words, copy and paste will be doing exactly what Megan did. Well, let's just say the other one did it. The Christmas tree thing. I don't think, did I share that with you? I don't think I shared it with you. That was like maybe two years ago. All right, during uh, the holiday, she wear a gold dress or something. People were laughing. I think it was during the holiday season, but it was like maybe two or three years ago. All right, but I can't, but I can't wait till they try. All right, let's read that there and then go to the main topic of this video. Okay, I swear, if KP tried to work this look, I may not recover. LOL. Who needs terror when you're a vision and classic modernity? Megan Marco is pure gold. Okay, golden without being tensile. Tomorrow we'll see Kate dress as an Oscar. Um, them, meaning that the tabloid or whatever, quote, Megan is, oh, oh the derangers, the derangers. Megan is always and baggy, ill-fitted clothes, and quote. Guarantee, they now say, is too revealing. Okay, she'll try though. I love the texture. Yeah, the texture looks really good. Let's look at it again. Yeah, it gives that, uh, how do you call it, rough kind of texture, but uh, it's nice. All right, so now let's go to some of the things that will happen after the event. Why do I feel like I, all right, so let's leave that alone. Next street. Oh, so there it is. That's the one. I, I didn't um, label it properly. I thought it was the one thing. Next tweet. There's that. Now, I decided to start with Meganpedia because it sort of give a summarization of what happened. Then I'll go to videos of uh, ABC, like news station in the U.S. that were talking about the event. But I decided to put Meganpedia things first. Okay, this is what Prince Harry has been warning about. American media do not chase people around like this. The images taken of them and the vehicle appears in British tabloids this morning. Why were those chasing the Sussexes and black out car with obscure license plate? Okay, so this is, a, I'm finding those things out really the way, way in the day after. Okay, last night, quote, last night, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and Miss Wagland were involved in a near catastrophic car chase at the hands of a ring of highly aggressive paparazzi. This relentless pursuit lasting over two hours. Later on, we're going to realize, uh, we will see why the two hours, okay? Um, um, what is it? This relentless pursuit lasting over two hours resulting in multiple near collision involving other drivers on the road, pedestrian, and two NYPD officers. While being a public figure comes with a level of interest from the public, it should never come at the cost of anyone's safety. Dissemination of these images, given the ways in which they were obtained, encourage a highly intrusive practice that is dangerous to all involved. Okay, I'm not sure who, what this could have been, I don't know if it's uh, their uh, spokesperson, I do not know. All right, so there's Omid as well who responded to that as well. Okay, last night, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and pretty much copying this and put it here. Okay, there's a thread with him. I think I have him, Scobie. So there's a thread with him. I'll go into Scobie later on. This is the e video that I sort of used for my video. Okay, that's when they were leaving the event. Why are the British media currently deliberately misreporting the facts? Harry and Meghan and Miss Wagner left in a similar black escalade what they arrived in, as seen in the video below. They did not live in a yellow, well, yeah, in a yellow cab as Brit me, uh, media are reporting. Okay, I do not know how they were reporting, but later on, they got into a cab. So, in other words, probably, in my humble opinion, 
the UK media probably left what happened in between and just said, from this point here, this is where they left. All right. Which later on, they did left in a yellow cab. And again, the two hour chase, keep that in mind as I do this video. Hopefully I get to that video uh, that, um, that mentioned what happened. Okay, and the British media, but the pictures, so they know who the source is. Okay, because I will, because I won't be surprised if the people chase our faves are Brits. Yeah, you see this American here. This is all they needed. They do that thing here. They took the pictures. They did whatever. They done. They move on. Ah, uh, they don't go and chase them. This does not happen in the U.S. Okay, because I won't be surprised. Okay, well said, exactly. Princess Diana happening all over again. So ironic with six cars that speaks volume alone. I wonder if the royal family knew about this secretly. You know what I mean? Very, very sus. 100% things. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, so this, okay, I'm going to read it here. If I, if I have a video too, I'll read it again on the other video. But this this statement is gonna happen again okay uh, from other tweets that i bookmark okay a statement from the photo agency regarding megan marco and prince harry's car chase okay so now they have something with them uh from background usa quote at background usa inc we value transparency can is this bigger than yeah yeah it's bigger okay we value transparency and ethics and journalism that's not journalism chasing the person like that that's not uh, journalism which include providing fair and factual responses to claim we are aware of prince harry's statement regarding an alleged quote near catastrophic car, car chase and quote involving himself megan marco and her mother in new york city on tuesday night we want to clarify that we have received photos and videos of last night's event from four freelance photographers, three of whom were in cars and, okay, so they're giving information. Three of whom were in cars and one of whom was riding a bicycle. All right, so you have the information. So whoever the police wasn't able to capture because, you know, due to safety of people around, so now the agency could give these information. It is important to note that these photographers have a professional responsibility to cover newsworthy events and pers uh, personalities, including public figures such as Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. According to the accounts given by these freelance contributors, they were covering the couple's stay in New York City, including the possibility of a dinner after an award ceremony. They're giving excuses, but that doesn't mean for you to chase them. Okay, they had no intention of causing any distress or harm as they only okay, as their only tool was their cameras. A few of the photos even show Megan Marco smiling inside a cab. The photographers report that one of the four SUVs from Prince Harry Security Escort was driven in a manner that could be perceived as reckless. Uh -huh. There it is. They turning it back on uh, on Harry's side as if it is Harry's driver who's causing the thing here. Okay, the vehicle was seen blacking off street and in one areas it is one uh, being pulled over by the police. We understand that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's security detail had a job to do and we respect their work. We do not, however, want to point out that according to the photographers present, there were no near collision or near crash during this incident. The photographers have reported feeling that the couple was not in imminent danger at any point. So what really happened with this car chase in New York involving Prince Harry and Meghan? Well, I've just got off the phone with someone who was in it. His name is Chris Sanchez. He's with their security detail. He used to be with the Secret Service and he told me uh, it was the worst thing he's ever been through. It wasn't a high speed chase because they were trying to stick to the speed limits and not put anyone in danger, but it did go on for more than two hours. It involved swapping vehicles and trying to get into safe spaces. Uh, they said there was about a dozen vehicles, cars, uh, motorbikes, and also cycles chasing them, trying to get pictures. At one point, Harry and Meghan's car was blocked off and photographers were taking pictures of them. Uh, they didn't at any point feel uh, at risk. They were scared, but they didn't feel their life was at risk. 
uh, they didn't at any point feel uh, at risk. They were scared, but they didn't feel their life was at risk. They were, however, concerned about uh, people dying on the roads because the PAPs, they say, were crossing red lights, going up onto the sidewalk. And they, at several points, they were concerned that pedestrians could be killed. So it was pretty serious as far as they're concerned. Okay, we're leaving up to the guard because they were not the one who were being chased, but they were the one who were pursuing Heavy and Megan. All right, so let's leave this as that. I don't. We will know more later on. Okay, later on, not just in this video, but later on and um, as time pass. Okay, so they the one who keeps on putting all of this. This I have bookmark further down as well. All right, so let's leave this alone. I have this later on. Okay, it is a thread. Okay, so forget that one. Let's go to the next video okay there's the thing here this just popped up on my front line on my timeline on my home page okay a few buckingham palace says prince harry and megan marcos near catastrophe car chase isn't something we're commenting on all right so let's leave that is this was not on my time on my list but it just popped up all right so this is the next one here NYPD confirms what happened to Prince Harry and Meghan. They left with an escort of NYPD officers when a paparazzi followed them for two hours. Okay? With paparazzi chasing after them and cars, motorcycles, scooters. This is not something you see in the U.S. Okay? Scooters. They stop at the NYPD 19th precinct to switch to a taxi with more escort nuts. I'm assuming... This is what I think. The reason they probably were... Uh, okay, let's listen to this. Because they probably didn't want them to see where they were going. Their, uh, how do you call this? Their, their hotel. Okay? Let's listen. Absolutely, John. So just let's take it back to the beginning of what happened yesterday. We understand the couple alongside Megan's mother were attending the Women of Vision Awards in New York. She was there. Meghan Markle was there to receive an award. I know we have those images of her, uh, of course, at the event wearing that gold dress. Important to remember the wider context here, of course, John. This is just about 10 days after the coronation of King Charles. So this was really the first huge public opportunity for the couple since that time. She was at that award ceremony, walked out, took those pictures, took those images, and then was leaving, escorted by the NYPD protective team, according to a statement from the couple. And that's when this car chase ensued. As you mentioned, almost two hours. Just imagine how terrifying that is. For almost two hours, they feared the potential of a catastrophic crash. They feared the potential of harm. Uh, we understand that according to law enforcement sources, the paparazzi were following them in cars motorcycles and scooters that these cars motorcycles and scooters were taking to the sidewalks uh engaging in dangerous maneuvers essentially to try to continue to chase okay so this reporter is telling what happened including the uh what the nypd have said so the other people are downplaying it they were like no whatever the statement that i just read before i come to this tweet all right, so this reporter is stating what the NYPD have said as well. Okay, so let's continue. 
at some point during this two-hour chase, uh, the swarm, the, the, the protective swarm, went to the 19th precinct, blocked off the roads, and then prepared to find a way to extract them from this hazardous this hazardous situation. They were in New York staying with a friend, so we don't know where they went after this chase. Important to note, of course, here. That's probably why they did not want to go straight to the friend's house. They probably did not want to go straight to that friend house. So if they doing something, let's say in the following day, they probably, the paparazzi will probably storm at those places. This is what I think that two hours, why they didn't go straight to the friend house. Because they want their privacy. They didn't want the papa, paparazzi to see where they were staying. That's what I think. All right. That the conclusion to this is that the couple are safe and well but of course serious fears and concerns a serious parallel here to what happened to prince harry's mother princess diana of course in 1997 and this real fear you have to remember that a driving force for them leaving the uk making that extraordinary decision to leave their home in london leave the royal family move to the united states and start a new life a huge factor that drove that was the need for safety was the need for security so you just reading between the lines here you get the sense that this oh damn i wish i could hear more so this thing never happened in the u.s so the same nonsense that the the paparazzi in the uk did over there they bring it over here so they could say oh you can see this is uh whatever they're running away from they're doing it over there too but i have a feeling some people certain type of people is behind this okay um let's see here once they stop at the 19 percent nypd officers continue to yell at paparazzi to move back nypd already stated uh stated footage is under investigation two days ago santa barbara county sheriff office arrested kevin garcia Valdovinos for stalking. Oh, I didn't know anything about that. Now, this made me real. I, I didn't see this part here when I wrote my thing on my timeline. Two days ago, where is it? Where is it? Not that. NYPD already stated footage is under investigation. Oh my God. I was right. This is the thing that sort of is my mind. I didn't see this until I'm recording now. I'm going to go to my um, timeline here. These are some stuff that I uh, that I uh, put on my timeline. Throughout the day, I was not at ease at all. I was putting prayers and all sort of things. Whatever was going in my mind, I was putting on my timeline. Okay, there's this here. Um, this was the last thing I saw. And uh, what the video that I just shared with you, that was this. But here. Okay, where is it? This one this one all right let's read what i wrote now i'm finally at ease like six hours ago i wrote this i forced myself to finish that project my mind kept on drifting to the incident now i understand why my earnest spirit was somewhat disturbed but now it is at ease this might sound cray cray to some but hear me out I think what happened last night was a blessing in disguise. God always has Harry and Megan's back. Certain chain of events had to happen in order to get the type of person or persons, or I could have said people, but I put that, or persons to get involved. This part here. This is the thing that when I was thinking, meditate about it. Meditate meaning like, you know, I, I could never get into the space of meditation. But when I think about certain things, later on I find my answer. Okay. So here and that aspect here, NYPD already stated footage is under investigation. This is what I mean. Certain type of people need to uh, get involved. Okay. So there's here, certain chain of event had to happen in order to get the type of persons to get involved. Prior to last night's incident, Heavy and Megan's ordeals were private matter. This one, it had nothing to do with law enforcement. It had nothing to do with FBI's. It had nothing to do with any uh, form of, uh, uh, how do you call this, personnel in the U.S. Okay? So now they are, now they are. 
All right, prior to last night's incident, Harry and Meghan's ordeal were private matter. Now, the health and safety of the public have now caught in the mix. The backing they need to help them fight this monstrosity ordeal is or are most likely involved. This is my humble opinion here. Okay, I, when I wrote this, I didn't read that uh, tweet that I was just reading here. I thought about it and that's what I came up with. I feel much better now. It is time. I thank the Lord for this blessing and this guys. All right. So this was the prayer that I typed in and then took the screenshot and put it there. Okay. So this is that. This is that. And I didn't even see this. I was really fighting to finish that project when I um, would that. Uh, how do you call this? That message on my community board. Okay, two days ago, Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Office arrested Kevin Garcia Valdovinos for stalking. All right, so I didn't know about this, so let me bookmark this at any point. Oh, oh, let me mute. Okay, the British royal family must start to give comment. This silence is def uh, this silence is deafening. <laughs> I stumbled on that uh, page before I started this, where they said they're not commenting. We don't need to. Eventually, we will find out. Okay, now that the NYPD, probably some other agencies, okay, governmental agencies, probably involved in this, because now the health and safety of the public is involved. Before that. It was just private matter. Harry and Meghan were private citizen. They had nothing to do with anything. Why Harry left the UK? They have nothing to do with it. But now they do. Now they do. Okay. Um, when the NYPD should have taken shots to protect lives, including their own, please charge, catch and arrest, and process them all through Rikers. Let them stay. Let them stay there for a while. Okay. Good reporting on this one. Okay. Change your smoke detector safety. All right. Um, I cannot see that one. Um, uh, the only word NYPD Julian Phillips used to describe the situation was chaotic, and uh, in context of the statement. He implies it was traitor and liars who caused chaos, not anyone else and all of New York City. Okay, most of the media here are fair and balanced. I hope the NYPD investigate this matter and pursue those criminals. I think they will now. I think they will now. All right, now that they got the agency who bought the thing from those people, now they are obligated to give those information. Who are these people? So I think... Um, we're in good hand right now. Okay, they were not US paparazzi. That much is obvious. They were paid criminals. Okay, it was a hit. I think so too. I think so too. Thank you, New York and their security team. We all know where their orders come from. They are succeeding. Uh, they are succeeding. They want them gone like Diana. That's the thing. They all right, let's put other things in perspective. God forbid. Oh my God, there's a video I did. I didn't um, edit yet. I did not edit yet and I went and said something uh, God forbid if something were to happen to Harry and Megan or something like that Harry and Megan need to write in their wills or whatever put videos out I didn't we uh, edit this video yet because I didn't come across it yet but I remember recording it is that uh, they need to let people know God forbid if something happened and knock on wood the same thing that I did when I first week uh, mentioned it that never happened the kids should never go to the royal family because they will abuse those kids they will abuse those kids leave heavy and megan needs to leave the first particular person and including megan's family okay including the side of megan family the Marcos. stay away from those um, people they should not be uh how do they call this uh, uh supervise them okay give the first second third fourth who should be looking after those kids because the the both side of uh, their parents should not be involved with the exception of uh, uh, doria look at this uh, miss doria was in the car as well god is good god is protecting them because this thing that happened last night was a hit it was a hit it never happened in the u.s all right um there was another thing i was thinking is that uh if that were to happen, whatever they were, whoever uh, paid for that hit to happen, whoever was behind it, okay, we need to keep in perspective 
if later on let's say you know at some point everyone will die or you know nobody lives forever you know with them coming with their fake tears the same thing that happened when princess diana died with their fake tears and they push the boy the kids the boys heavy and the other one to walk behind the mother's casket and all of that all right so keep in mind these people if anything ever to happen to harry and megan um whatever it may be and but god forbid it will not un unless god wants it to all right so they're gonna come in the front of the tv to get their petty cries for people to feel sorry for them now we know we know how they truly feel because look at that uh, tweet that i stumbled on before i started this where they don't want to comment on heavy and megan thing all right so keep that in mind let's go to the next tweet hopefully i explain my thought here okay there's this here at kobe tell at what's her name kena Whitworth. he was quote really shocked and quote to hear from sources uh that neither harry nor megan have heard from any members of the royal family regardless what their spot was it the sparks call any catastrophe car chase all right let's listen 36 seconds but Harry and Megan don't have sources, but anyway, let's... I think this is the element of the day that has surprised me the most. You know, this is a story that is almost straight out of Princess Diana's book. You know, we've heard the, those about those aggressive encounters with the paparazzi in the past. So it, ultimately, it's the thing that took her life. Okay. Was that it? No, it's kind in of... In that Paris tunnel. And so to the likes of King Charles and Prince William, hearing this story would have no doubt stirred some kind of emotional response and so i was really mm -hmm. shocked to hear from sources that neither harry nor megan had heard from any members of the royal family uh, even some hours after this story had broken i think this is the element of the day that okay the it's playing again okay but harry and megan don't have sources but let's let's read some of the comments okay the sussexes do not have reliable sources that is the royal family harry and megan have stated that anything regarding them will come through their official spokesperson yes that is true okay that's what happened when you leave a cult royal cult cult their silence speaks value yeah mm -hmm. let's see here my mom wasn't paranoid after all she was quite right prince harry all right let's just say the you could read this because i'm not gonna read all of this um while i'm talking one of the thing um that i'm thinking what happened last night okay the thing that the royal or whoever's behind it let me not put a name behind it whoever was behind it they were expecting something similar to what happened to princess diana now that with the help of our spirit the true god who helped them jump that hurdle they passed that hurdle okay so now the next chapter will continue okay this they, what they intend was a similar incident to princess diana because everything that harry and megan's are doing every news that coming out of the u.s about harry and megan are all positive they do not like it they do not like it but if they mind their own business they would not know a damn thing that harry and megan are doing just mind their own focus on their charitable charitable work and the charity the fakery and all of that but they keep on minding harry and megan's business so that thing that happened last night was intended to have a similar consequences with princess diana harry and megan thank god with the spiritual world this is where it matters where we cannot describe certain things the spiritual world was involved this thing disturbed me where i didn't even know it was happening but my inner spirit was not at ease where i went to bed i couldn't finish my project okay so this you read that okay harry's and harry's making the same mistake as diana and i fear her he'll come to regret it just like his mom okay people need to speak with these people what do they know they all have the evil face i'm telling you evil originated in the uk evil originated in the uk and i think last night princess diana came through she came through okay she came through for uh, her boy the happiness that heavy is searching for she wants to make sure he gets it 
but I hope that helps you understand what it had come to, that I would step my family back from all I have ever known, to take a, to take a step forward into what I hope can be a more peaceful life. And he, she's doing her part in the spiritual world for him. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'm not surprised. At Scooby, you shouldn't be shocked. You know, the royal family has never given a F about Harry and Meghan. They allowed their security to be revoked after their location in Canada was leaked to the tabloid. Tyler Perry had to step in and provide security for them. Charles evicted them from their home in UK. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's pretty much sums up everything. This person is getting the end, explaining in a, <laughs> as minimal character as possible. Okay, the Royals are not a loving family. This could have been a disaster, but Charles and Williams are evil. I won't be surprised if they were involved. Okay, that family is disgusting. That's all the world is seeing. It's seeing what's happening. Okay, Princess Diana is going to make sure her boy with along with the family that he created reveal the nonsense that is happening that she went through because she was doing it on her own when she was in the physical world i always call uh, you know uh, being alive and whatever the physical world where you could touch you could feel you could do all of this the spiritual world is where we never been only the good one knows the that have passed or being okay could only describe this they cannot have a physical aspect of things okay shaking my damn head they won't hear from them either they started this crap and then they cry racism what is it and they cry racism uh or like last night they exaggerate uh little things you know what you are just full of baggage for god okay you do not know what they're going through okay so shake <laughs> Harry and Meghan have been abused by the royal family and it's quite traumatic for them. It's just sad. And this is why I said only Meghan could deal with Harry. Only Meghan. This thing, so many people are wanting to be uh, the one that Harry chose and all of that. Will they be able to deal with all this nonsense? Okay, Royal News Network. What are they supposed to do exactly? Harry and Meghan clearly... Uh, dramatize whatever they experience and now it's coming back to bite them no the NYPD no uh, that's not the video that I shared before explain the uh, from CNN the reporter explain what the NYPD said okay so they you know switching things over it's Harry and Megan's experience you were not the one in there you were not the one going through it all right next one and it's about Omid as well okay let's see here so this is a timeline this is um a thread i'm i should say a thread spokesperson for both king charles and queen camilla and prince william and princess kate have declined to comment and i saw the headline okay i understand that no member of the royal family has reached out to the sussexes since today's news broke out uh four hours ago all right let's go start from the top okay did i do okay Last night, okay, so this is the event from Omid. Last night, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and Dovia Wagland were involved in a terrifying paparazzi car chase involving six blacked out vehicles and a chase that could have been fatal. A spokesperson for the couple confirmed. All right, so that's that. Okay, I read that already. I think it was the second tweet. Okay, despite being confronted by uniformed police multiple times, the paparazzi cars continued their pursuit and trying to follow the Sussexes and Doria to the private residence they were staying. Oh, I was right again. I didn't see this. I didn't see this one. This is the, I think this is the reason why they were going around. They did not want them to see where they were staying. So that way now they're probably gonna leave as soon as or maybe until investigation is done because there's a possibility they probably were gonna stay in new york for a while which mean the kids were probably with them okay so they didn't want the 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 paparazzi to see where they were staying and there's miss dovia as well was with them which mean the kids were also in new york okay traffic violation by the drivers include driving on a sidewalk going through red uh, red lights i guess where is it going through where's the red red lights reversing down a one-way street driving while photographing and illegally blocking a moving vehicle wow 
this was happening. Okay, so I'm learning more in details about it. Photos of the couple that came as a result from the two-hour chase briefly appeared on the Daily Mail this morning but have since been removed. So they were behind that. How did they get that? A source close to the Sussexes said, Heavy, Megan, and Dovia are understandably shaking, but thankfully everyone's safe. You can understand why they're doing this. This is another reason why they wanted Heavy to give how many days in advance when he's in the UK uh, so they could he could get his security. Was it 18 days? There's a number. I don't remember the number. So they could prepare for all of this similar tactic because Harry is calling them to court. They're about to reveal that BS. This is the thing. Okay, full story. I'll click on it, but I'm not prepared to read that. But the link of this will be in the description for you to read. Okay, let's go back to Twitter. I don't even need to see it. The link of that article will be in the description. Statement from NYPD, quote, okay, so he's quoting them. Let's go into that because it continues. Statement from NYPD on Wednesday evening, May 16, the NYPD assisted the private security team protecting the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. There were numerous photographers that made their transport challenging. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex arrived at their destination and there were no report collision, summons, injuries, or arrest and regard. End quote. Spokesperson for both King Charles and Queen Camilla and Prince William and Princess Kate have declined to comment. I understand that no members of the royal family has reached out to the Sussexes since today's news broke four hours ago. Okay. Um, now I think that's the... Let me go back, see if the thread end. NYPD. So, okay. Spokesperson. Okay. I read that. So, now the comments under his post. Okay. And not one, not one picture to confirm and police and cab drivers says this wasn't so all right nypd has no record of this a two-hour car chase in new york city you can't pull that off during the covid shutdown <sighs> they try this is the thing they're trying to debunk thing now that the thing uh, uh harry and megan are alive and well so they're trying to uh, uh minimize their encounter all right so why weren't there any arrests okay this is frightened and sent most likely um i will say the british media moguls other firm diana cock chase crash and death was horrific this is deliberate terrorizing which is equally ter horrifying all right this is the word that i use in one of my videos terrorize okay they literally terrorizing them that's exactly that with the uh, court case that's going on in the uk this is the thing that they're trying to do to stop that Okay, God is good. God is good. We need to jump that hurdle as well. Get to the to the bottom of this. I don't know too much about the firm, but this is crazy as F. Heavy and Megan should be protected at all costs. Okay, whatever is on, this, uh, on the screen, that's all I'm going to read before I go to the next one. Omid, where, where is a statement from the king condemning this or William, the heir offering support? to his brother and family history is repeating itself here what is the royal family doing all right it's a fabrication why are they riding in a new york city cab no money uh for even a limo all right so whatever all right the haters will always be hating but uh, the people who understand their audio we just need to keep on praying because we know the powerful force behind that heavy told us i was born into this life and it is a great honor to serve my country and the Queen. When I lost my mum 23 years ago, you took me under your wing. You looked out for me for so long, but the media is a powerful force. Okay. Now, this is a thread and this is the, the thing that happened here. All right, let's start it from here. Let's read this because this is the main thing, but it was repeating and I decided to pick one out of the things that I was keep on uh, um, bookmarking so I don't have a long list. So I bookmarked this, but it started here. Okay. Timeline, timeline of the car chase. Police sources in New York have given Sky News, US Partner Network, NBC News the following breakdown of what happened on Tuesday night. Harry and Megan leave the Zigville Ballroom with private security, 
with them at around 10 p.m local time okay we have videos and i had it on the music video okay when they were leaving police said the couple wanted to go back to where they were staying on the upper east side so they did not want them to know where they were staying okay it wasn't a hotel so they made sure not to uh lure the paparazzi to where they were staying that's what i think okay again i'm right again harry and megan didn't want paparazzi to know where they were where they were going so they were driving across 57th street and other street for about an hour and 15 minutes one nypd vehicle was escorting their vehicle so those people who's debunking who sang all this nonsense why were there any arrest and all of that so there was a uh, police escorting them i didn't know about that okay the Sussexes were driven were driven to the 19th precinct and stayed there for about 15 minutes that's the thing they did not want the paparazzi to see where they were staying that's exactly that police helped get the pair get off the block and they got into a different car they got to their resident without being followed police have said it was a bit of chaotic scene okay keep that in mind let me bookmark this okay i have it all right so let's read this here i live in new york city for two decades we don't have diana level harassment paparazzi here at all this is a coordinated hit squad that was out to set off a dire catastrophe for harry and megan and doria whomever set this up deserve exposing the uh, plus again when people said uh there was one tweet i was reading uh in new york city that will never 10 o'clock during weekdays i'm not saying the street is completely dead but it's pretty quiet it's not as chaotic and also this is something many of you need to take into consideration uh manhattan new york city they've changed a lot of things in terms of because they're trying to reduce traffic because a lot of uh, cars keep on coming in manhattan they're trying to reduce traffic so what they've done they turned some of the street into uh, not only they blocked some of the streets they allowed uh where people could sit and dine or whatever they probably have a term for that i don't know what it is but they've changed the traffic area in new york and to make it even harder for people to come into new into manhattan they're trying to make i think uh, where you have to pay some sort of a fee to cross manhattan let's say um you go into uh, brooklyn you're coming from a different state and you have to go through uh what's that bridge uh brooklyn bridge or something like that they're trying to i don't know if they did it yet um what is it uh which bridge we did to go there for mother's day i forgot which bridge uh but they're making they're trying to make manhattan less crowded so traffic area have changed slightly okay it's not as congested as it used to be all right so there's this person here who said who live in new york city for two decades the things that she saw uh that they is explaining never happened okay uh never happened before the type of chase okay the daily mail and daily express two british tabloids are the ones who published and subsequently took down the photos of the chase obviously caused an escalation i've never seen them try to pull this in the u.s all right so there's the express so they took a screenshot of the of the particular chase okay and they, they they took it down okay harry and megan a near catastrophic car chase uh with paparazzi in new york city they they want to put it out there but yet they don't you know let's leave it as that all right so that was the part that i wanted to share with you this part here there's a lot of other comments but um i mean this is a long thing 381 comments this one has 34 i'm not gonna go into it um let's go to the next tweet that i have bookmark okay so there's this here that's when they get into the taxi and now that uh the police i guess this is after they went to um to the police 19th person all right oh so that's i took it from here as well okay this pic i've seen uh accredited to american blazing photos for back grid all right so there's the person who took it so all these people you know they could call them um when push come to shove and why they were chasing them to get pictures give them a, a taste of a medicine of this doesn't happen here throw the books at them 
Uh, you see when Harry and Meghan and Miss Dervia was leaving that building to get into their car. All right. This is allowed. You take the pictures. You see those people, the paparazzi taking. This was fine. But the chasing aspect of it, not allowed. We're going to see how far this one is going to go. Okay. There's another thing that I saw uh, from the, the same thing too as well. The same tweet. Okay. I took them apart because I didn't want to go to 300 or something to see that one. Okay, there's that again. Even when they get in the taxi thing, they still after them. My goodness. Yeah, this is first degree harassment from this comment down here. Yeah. My goodness, my goodness. And there's the siren back there, the police. Okay, this is where they were saying, um, is that audio? Uh, it's just for oh, okay something happened it's for <laughs> This is for the people who's behind it. Now they get police involved. Okay? The, as this is what I said on my um, community board. As crazy the ordeal that they experience, this thing is much bigger than them. Now they get the proper people involved. Police of all places, New York City. Prince Andrew should know. Donald Trump should know what New York City could do. Okay? So now they get the backing of what was needed to help them fight this because our prayers is as good as anything else okay but this and the physical world this is what they needed to help them with that monst monstrosity what did i use on the thing monst monstrosity where is it monstrosity ordeal okay go to my community board this is what i wrote okay so now this thing this is what they need to see now in the uk this is what they get involved now Okay, they better go sit on the toilet and shit themselves out because they got the police involved now. Okay? So now every time they get in New York, they're probably going to call, I don't know, we're going to be here. So be prepared for the health and safety of the people. Okay? They could tell them that because they do not want anything bad to happen because those people are chasing them. This is the experience that New York City police needed to see to get involved. All this, I think Princess Diana for that, she probably protected them for this because she probably knew what the monsters, what they did to her, were going to do to her son. So she tried to get as many people involved to help her son get to the bottom of the nonsense that's going on. Okay. Next tweet. I don't know if it come from under that because I was taking some stuff from that thing. Okay, so that's the thing again here. Okay, this is Henry the Eighth. I will bet big money that the people chasing Harry and Meghan last night were weren't American. Pops like that sell to paper like this for headlines like this, which were quickly deleted, show complicity and guilt. Okay, so it's similar to the thing that other person was uh, putting. Megan and Harry spotted jumping into yellow taxi after a glitzy ceremony in New York. Here, there's that. Megan, uh, Prince Harry and Megan Marco and Dovio Ragland jump in New York, um, New York yellow taxi. All right, so that the Express and Daily Mail. Okay, okay, I'm not entirely convinced they were pops at all. There's me responding to her. Same here okay there's that me too and me too okay and me too the lot i heard that their license plates were con uh, cornered okay i don't know about that well there is nothing that can be said if the deranged have already decided it was all a production for the uh, for the evil pair to get press cover <laughs> uh, same people that think Megan never gave birth to her own children. Okay, a journalist from the Express was harassing them last night. 
Hmm. Oh, there was something I saw. I looked for it. Uh, I can't find it. If I see it, or maybe no, I didn't um, record it on my previous record. Be leading to the the event that the award show, uh, some of the squaddies were uh, were sharing uh, a tweet about the. Uh, uh, the man who was calling Megan out, uh, like Megan, you ruined the royal family, you know, from the audio when Harry and Megan were gonna get the, was it, uh, they were in New York. This person, Megan, you ruined the royal family, something like that. they got the person okay so they were po posting pictures of the guy who was behind it so now um i tried to avoid it because i i, I didn't want to get involved in all of this not knowing this was gonna happen uh, right um usually whatever i could see on twitter i share it with you with a certain level of in terms with copyright with youtube and all of that so i decided not to show it and not to get involved with this because i didn't know if it's the guy that was actually saying it but it was going around um twitter um, I will take that bet. This was planned and organized. American paparazzi don't act like that anymore, especially in New York. Mm -hmm. I, look at this. You have a lot of celebrities walking with their kids in Manhattan. Uh, there's pictures of Katie Holmes with her daughter walking. You don't see them harassing. They keep their distance. I mean, I'm not saying it's right. They keep their distance and they took their pictures or whatever. They don't chase them. Okay, I want. Okay, I read that. I agree with you 100%. Uh, this seems like British media behavior. Nope. They are British or uh, what is it? B or uh, Brit or uh, Brit paid enforcers. They'll harass you on the street at your home or to suicidal ideation. It hurts me when I remember Caroline Flack and that she was Harry's ex as well. Wonder if that's why the hate was piled on. She refused to, to blab. Okay. So I don't know anything about, I mean, I know a little bit about Caroline Flack, but, uh, in full detail when she was dating Harry, I don't know. All right. Let's see this here. Um, I said that the moment I saw the news, USA tabloid don't chase celebrities. They take the pictures at whatever event they are and leave them alone. I live in New York and I have sent many celebrities. Okay. I live in New York and have since, I guess, seen many celebrities. Uh, and they are a few paparazzi taking pictures, but not like this. This is serious. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the sequence of event needed to happen to get the right people to be involved in what Heavy and Megan were uh, fighting privately. Now, the proper enforcers come to help them. Okay, I will not be surprised if FBI, FBI is behind that as well to help them get to the bottom of this okay they are there is uk by grid if they are connected not sure all right so there's this here by grid a photo agency that captured photo of harry and megan doria following the event released a statement and the incident on wednesday afternoon all right so i read this at the beginning my money is french or somewhere in the uk they were commissioned by his father and stepmother i don't know there's a possibility uh they were british you can hear the accent at the end of the video huh very interesting okay does anyone have the or does anyone have the original statement from their spokesperson can seem to find it only bits and pieces okay me think they were uh they weren't paparazzi either possibly something is fishy where these really paid okay this was coordinated i mean look at this this is the thing that i keep on saying they have their peoples in every basis that they need to create any narrative. Okay. There's a possibility. They have their people go after them. This is my humble opinion here to chase them like that. Once they chase them like that, they give the picture 
to what seems to be a tabloid agency or whatever it may be. Okay. And then the tabloid put their nonsense out and then they all, they stand behind it. Like I said, okay, the sequence of event needed to happen in order to get the proper uh, agencies in the US the proper backing that heavy needed to fight this monster because heavy have said this is much bigger than us I was born into this life and it is a great honor to serve my country and the Queen when I lost my mum 23 years ago you took me under your wing you looked out for me for so long but the media is a powerful force or himself or something like that that he used when he was um, the speech that he gave in the UK when he was leaving before to go meet Megan and Archie and Canada this is much bigger than them now they try other aspect of things it did not work still is not working with our prayers what I was making reference to is that the tabloid the UK tabloid all those people who's against them and the UK what they were trying to do is that what all the tactic, all their blueprint, everything that they have, they throw at Harry and Megan, it never worked. So this, that's the reference that I was making. The tabloid was throwing everything um, that they know how to. It doesn't work with our prayers. And there's one um, thumbnails that I have. Uh, I think I call it the Sussex Squad is where... Uh, headlines come to die or something like that whenever they throw their nonsense out toward heavy and megan when uh it reaches the squad we crush it we mark it we throw it on the garbage we throw it right back at them and then we throw prayers behind it all right so this is uh, i think this is like their last effort i mean we need to keep on praying never stop praying whatever is working right now we just need to keep it going that's what i mean by that they just uh uh where they're trying all sort of things, all sort of aspects, whatever I meant in the original recording. That's what I mean. The tactic, they're throwing at Harry and Megan with our prayers, it's not going to work. All right? So we need to keep on praying. Let's get back to the original recording. Now they try something where now they alerted the proper agencies to help Harry and Megan fight this. Our prayers is working. We need to keep on praying. All right? Don't ever doubt on your prayers and what you believe in don't ever doubt it if you believe it send your if you even if you don't believe in um, in certain religion even if you don't have any religion it doesn't matter if you believe on what you believe in send your words to the universe of whatever it is that you believe in all right next tweet I have one more after this okay so there's this here Henry the eighth Best case scenario here is that UK tabloids are so desperate to get a shot of the Sussex kid that they sent Paps to do whatever they needed to do to find out where Harry and Megan's were staying. That could be that. That could be that. Okay. And uh, by whatever, I mean chasing a man whose mother died in a motor vehicle accident. <laughs> I'm surprised I get that many times I get confused with... Uh, with abbreviation because there's so many abbreviation i can believe i i uh, i got that okay <clears throat> let's start all over and by whatever i mean chasing a man whose mother died in a motor vehicle accident caused by paps okay that's literally the best case scenario because the others are even uglier and that really says something about the state of the uk and their royal family all right so there's my comment here then the other day, the Sussex Squad shared two positive tabloid covers about Harry and Meghan uh, were, were how popular or like the Sussexes were in the US. Some Sussex Squad were shocked to read or see them with the truth about Harry and Meghan. My thing is, wondering if this was planned. They started their reason to justify their headline. I, before I started this recording, I looked for it. I can't find it. I can't find it. Let's see here. Okay, or something happened on Salty Island, something Heavy and Megan News had to cover. News about Heavy and Megan is usually fabricated to cover up news about William. If that's true, then what news about William should cover by Heavy and Megan? Okay, let's see this one. Ah, oh. <clears throat> but I was right. I was looking for that, the positive headline from the Daily, uh, I think it was the Daily Mail. 
oh, you know where I could find it? I didn't edit those videos yet. It's probably in one of those videos. It's probably in one of those videos that I have not edited yet. Uh, I'll keep a note to myself when I'm editing it to remember which video I have it because I have not edited it yet. I'm way behind. I have a lot to share with you. <laughs> yeah, or something. This is what I said. Don't just follow my, if you want the latest, either keep on checking my timeline. But yesterday I was not posting anything on my timeline. Um, besides those prayers later on in the afternoon. <clears throat> Go other, um, check other Positive Sussex Squad uh, channels. Okay, they'll keep you up to date. Me, I have some issues because I go to the foundation of things to the best of my abilities. And sometimes YouTube take a while to approve those videos. Lately, knock on wood, it's okay. But if you want the up to date, the I'm not running to give you the breaking news uh, to be the first to show you what's happening. No, I took my time. There's no rush. If you want to know, uh, just wait. Uh, for me, from my side of perspective, just wait until uh, my videos come. All right, but <laughs> that was a side try. Okay, so this person uh, saying that here, or oh, something happened on Salty Island, something Heavy and Megan News had to cover. News about Heavy and Megan is usually fabricated to cover up news about William. If that's true, then what news about William should cover by Heavy and Megan? Okay, so this person came here. I'm telling you, the squad are on the thing. <laughs> There's the response here. It's the lawsuit. This article was up, then take down about Prince Michael of Kent bank account being accessed by tabloid. Mm, I was aware of that during the that thing that's going on. The copy, uh, not copyright, the phone hacking thing. Okay, this doesn't seem like a big deal, but wait. All right, so there's that. Now the royal family, or at least will and Kate support Ukraine. Prince Michael of Kent selling access to Russia. This, this is old. I covered this already. It was a video. Uh, is it an audio recording from a fake person? I, I don't know. I, re maybe two or three years ago. This is not news to me. Okay, Prince Michael of Kent selling access to Russia will be a big public no-no. To distract from this, cue uh, the bazillion stories about Harry and Meghan. Okay, this is old news to me. Okay, I'm already aware of that. Okay, let's see here. Peace Morgan interviewed the cab driver and it did not go well for Peace. For Peace. Oh, was he in New York too? The cab driver stated, Harry and Meghan were both scared when they got into his cab. Peace asked the cab driver if the paparazzi acted like uh, like that with other celebs. The cab driver confirmed that the paps were more aggressive than usual. He said he's driving many celebs and it was never this bad. They were chased before they got into the into his cab. Uh, they pay him very well. Okay, ask him what his name was and thank him before they left the cab. The cab driver that has been driving around New York City for decades mentioned that he's never seen a situation like this. All right, but when you hear, um, how do you call this, the comments, the derangers, uh, minimize the incident like it's nothing. Um, in other words, they're sensationalizing the situation. But for Heavy and Megan and Miss Dovia who was going through it, this is their experience. All right. And what this was, that night was supposed to be a happy night for Harry and Meghan. They want to turn it into a sorrow. All right? With God's help, with our spiritual prayers and all of that, we're going to make sure to protect them. And funny enough, with my video that I did when they left the, the award ceremony, if you look near the end, this video, near the end, I put a, a screen, a screen, um, uh, a thumbnails of a video that I did on Pure YTE where Harry, I have three images of Harry and then uh, within that there's an image of the kids and Megan where I put the shield and I said something, they must be protected. I thought about this when I was finishing the, the thing and that, I don't know, this came through for them last night. This came through for them last night. assignment okay let's finish with this Pierce was hoping to gotcha the Sussexes and the cab confirmed the chaotic situation and had uh, was it good thing to say about Harry and Megan I hope they file lawsuit for this 
the Mail Express were the only one with pictures and videos. This attempt on their lives was blatant. And guess what? Where is taking place? In the US. Okay? So this situation that just happened here, they could file it in New York City court. Okay? Now, once they finish with them in the UK, they're going to do it here as well in the US. In New York City. Okay? I hope they file a lawsuit for this. Okay, I read this. I think it's more about, see, you'll never be safe from us. So you definitely don't want to come back to London in a couple of weeks for that lawsuit. Terribly dangerous, London traffic, anything might happen, and you without police protection in England. Hmm. Could be, it could be, yeah. Okay, too eerie for me. But guess what? They could do a video thing here. All right, so when Harry goes to the thing, um, they don't need to know when he comes. He could either come on the day of, he just doesn't need to tell them. Remember how they want to know if he wants police protection? He needs to tell them several days in advance. All right, so that's that. <laughs> All right. Let me move. Okay, so let's finish that. Harry should go straight uh, at the head of Rupert Murdoch, file another lawsuit based on this incident. Yep. Remember how I said you need, to, there's a video that I did. I think I, where I went and about terrorizing and all of that, where I put the snake, you need to cut them at the neck. You need to go right up there. They're going to get the, to the bottom of this. Now that police got involved, New York police got involved, they're going to get to the bottom of this. Okay, relentless pursuit, horrific. I'm so glad they got the F out of the UK. I just hope something can be done to keep them safe here. Okay, very disturbing that there was simultaneous a uh, parlor at their home in Montecito. Another where's the kids moment. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. <clears throat> Okay, there's this. Doria was in New York City with them, which means the kids must have been in New York City as well. The paparazzi probably tried to figure out where they were staying in the hopes of taking pictures of the kids at some point during the stay. Okay, this was planned. Uh, the other day, the squad shared two positive screenshots of UK tab on Harry and Meghan, something about how popular Harry are in the US. Now, to have this kind of chase, Hopes New York City get to the bottom of this. Hopes, okay, I spell it. Hopes uh, the FBI gets involved. Right? Uh, involved now. This is what I mean in that other, in my timeline here. All right? Prior to last night incident, Harry and Megan's ordeal were private matter. Now the health and safety of the public are now caught in the mix. The backing they needed to help them fight this monstrosity ordeal is or are most likely involved and there new york city police and fbi okay they wanted them dead that's all i think so too or just kill them all right if uh if we never see the kids in public i understand i mean harry went through it harry went through it the u.s people in the u.s don't care about uh, uh celebrities kids i if we see them we see them and we, we move on but uh we don't need to know little bits and pieces about them all right there was also a stalker arrested trying to her uh to her and to their property in california this was coordinated okay this is the second time i'm reading it so couldn't make more sense for them to follow stealthily instead of all this commotion i mean why do they have to adjust their lives to please other people. Remember, they're already aware. Megan was already a public figure. Harry is a public figure. They already know that. New spin on it from the, from the youth. Okay. As a prince, you have your born birth with a natural platform to be able to try and make a difference. Yeah? Which a lot of people have to spend years and years and years getting to that point. So from that, that perspective, I'm very lucky to have a platform to be able to try and make change in the causes that mean a lot to me, but also to you guys. And I, I'm still in your generation, by the way. But at the same time, as I said, being born with a lot of privilege comes a lot of, with a lot of responsibility. But I like to think that I'm, you know, I'm going to have to spend the rest of my life earning the respect for that privilege and trying to make a difference for the rest of my life. Okay, so once, did they give any issues when they were getting um, out of the building or when they get out of the car going into the building? They didn't make a big deal out of it. They knew they are public figures. People want to see their pictures and all of that. And they have a business to uh, 
business to uh, to run there's people who wants to make deal with them and all of that all of this it's the whole package of them okay they don't have to readjust themselves because of some crazies who want them to uh stay in a box meanwhile they want the spotlight that heavy and megan have and meanwhile they cannot do anything productive reasonable for people to like them the same way megan and heavy are, are, are loved so heavy and megan don't have to adjust their lives for mediocre people no they don't have to adjust themselves the law need to implement it and prosecute those people who feel like they have to chase them okay they got in the car when they got out of the car going into the building heavy and megan they make a big deal out of it they got out of the building going into the car they didn't make a big deal out of it you could take their pictures all they want the minute they got into the car the car closed business closed so everybody move go on your way and go do your thing so why should they move stiltly because of some idiots who feel like they should uh, uh, deep wire um insert themselves into their lives and it's a group of people who probably send these people to come and chase them so when they start arresting people for these things okay you will see it will stop all right when you think about it this was also the first time and forever all three were all together if they were seriously harm or worse who do you think the kids will go to and this is okay i said it in a video i have not edited that video yet because i'm way past thing i was saying something and i said if anything ever happened to heavy and megan they need to write in their will okay i hope this incident opened their eyes to do that if they haven't done it yet i said it in one video if something ever happened to them i know the royal family will want to come and scoop those kids so they could be the the scapegoat for the rest of the royal family so heavy and megan need to write in writing and their will god forbid it will never get to this the kids will grow the way that heavy and megan wants they will be an adult you know adult age where heavy shape them for how they want them to be okay heavy and megan put in their will if uh miss dovia is not there who should be the next person online and who should be the next and the next and the next but their family beside miss dovia should not be the custodian of those kids once if anything were to happen put it in their blood put it in their will put it in video put it in audio put it in every single thing this is the same thing that i said in one video uh, about megan writing their stories or put their stories somewhere this is the same aspect of things do that because you will need it if you want to protect your kids heavy knows what his family can do so those kids should never be exposed to that kind of situation who should be the one to be the custodian of those kids until they are adult okay the same thing that happened to michael jackson when um he passed who raised the kids now if miss dovia look all three of them were in the same car okay the only people that were uh the best interests of those kids were in the same car so if something were to happen who should be the custodian of those kids because the law will protect them if they write it in their will but if there is no will you're gonna see the fight is gonna be not only to get the assets the wealth that harry and megan have accumulated that short period of time where they left the uk and then together and what megan had already had okay so they're gonna try to grab this so heavy should put this on a will right away okay we do understand we're praying we do all the spiritual things but sometimes we have to do our part in the physical world all right this is not to doubt any of our prayers this is this is just reality this is just reality they need to do that Okay, I think you're right. I saw a report that said the Sussexes were staying with friends. The pursuit went on so long because they didn't drive to the home where they were staying. I didn't even read this and this is what I was thinking. Okay, they didn't, um, where was it? Uh, they didn't drive to the home where they were staying. So Pops wouldn't know. If the kiddos were there with the friends, that makes so much sense. That's it. That's it. I was right. Oh my God okay i think this is the last one okay that, let me see i copied this copy let's go to the next one let me see before okay 
Miss Doria, let's go to that. Let me make sure I got the everything that I have on my list. Okay, so that was the thing. All right, so let's do a prayer. Should I pick a prayer that I put on my... Let's do this one since I keep on coming back to this. So I'm going to use this prayer. Okay, can I click on it? Uh, right, there's this. Father, thank you for the blessing and victory you have in store for my future. Thank you for allowing me to see and hear in my heart the good things you have planned. I chose to keep my eyes on you and declare your blessing over my life in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay? So this was a blessing in disguise. This was a blessing in disguise. And Harry and Meg, we need to keep on thanking God for everything. Because they were in the spot, in the state of mind to say, let's not rush to the place. Well, the security guard was there too. To say, let's go to a police station instead be so we could get escort. That way they would not know where we stand. Okay? Wow. Just wow. Okay? That's it. Alright, so please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link and a Cash App link in the description. You could donate. Those who have donated, thank you. Uh, those two subscribers, welcome. Alright, so I don't know when you're going to see this video because I'm, I'm backed up. I have, let me see, I think I'm up to, I think um, the 16th and right now is the 18th. So I'm backed up. And some of those days, I have at least three, three recordings three different videos so i'm way backed up yesterday i only did one out of three of the 16 so i have two more and i have the 17 if i don't record them as those things happening because the news keeps on coming my inner how will i say that my inner feeling my feeling behind the recording will not be there because i've already know what happened what's next so it will not be the same so i have to record them as the event or happening so I, you could get my true emotion is the future all right so that's it let me get back to work all right for forgiveness and uh, and please come back
are all in this together. And if I may speak personally, we are all in this together. Because asking for help was one of the best decisions that I ever made. You will be continually amazed how life changes for the better.